All right, guys, welcome back. We are on lesson four, area and perimeter word problems. Before we get started, I would like you to look at the learning goal. If you need to pause, go ahead and do so. After you read through the learning goal in your rubric, please go ahead and rate yourself and put it at the beginning of the lesson next to your lesson title and circle it so I know that's what you rate yourself in the beginning, all right? So let's get started. Hayden's dad is teaching her how to make tables out of tiles. Hayden makes a small table that's three feet wide and four feet long. How many square foot tiles does she need to cover the table? And how many feet of decorative, decorative border material will her dad need to cover the edges of the table? So here first, we know Hayden's dad is helping her make a table. So her table is three feet by four feet. All right, and so when it asks for square foot tiles that she needs, they're asking for the area because they're asking about the coverage. And cover means over the top, so that's area. And then the second question they want us to answer is how many feet of decorative border material to cover the edges? All right, and if we're doing the edge, we're doing perimeter. So they're asking us to find the area and perimeter of a three foot by four foot rectangle. Well, that's pretty easy. Area is equal to length times width, right? So I know that our length is four feet and our width is three feet. So she will need a total of 12 square units, or actually it's feet, right? Because they give us the units, square feet to cover her table. Now we need to find the perimeter. Perimeter, if you remember previously, is equal to 2L times 2W. All right, so our L is 2 times 4 plus 2 times 3. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2 times 3 is 6. So along the edge, 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 feet. So Hayden will need 14 feet of border to go around the edge of the table. Now here's another question. Hayden's dad is making a table that is six feet wide by six feet long. When both tables are placed together, what are their combined areas? Well, our first table was four feet by three feet. And we know the area of that table was equal to 12 square feet, right? Now let's draw a picture of the other table. We have six feet by eight feet. All right, this should look like the area model, right? So the area here, area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to six. Sorry, my length is eight. Eight times six, okay? Eight times six is equal to 48 square feet. So if I were to put these two together, 12 square feet plus 48 square feet, if I added them, because we want the total of space that they're going to cover, 8 and 2 is equal to 10, 4 and 1 and 1 is equal to 60. So our total is 60 square feet that they have for their tables. Now let's try another one. A rectangle is two meters wide. It is three times as long as it is wide. Draw to find its length. All right, so let's start. So I know that I have a rectangle that's two meters here. All right, and then if I were to move over, I know that it is three times as long. So I have one set of two meters, another set of two meters, and a last set of two meters, because that's three times as long. And you can see that in the image here. So you have two meters, two meters, two meters. That's three times as long as it is wide, okay? So finding its length would be two, two, and two. So it's either two plus two plus two or two times three is equal to six. So the length is equal to six meters. All right. 
Mrs. Jemison painted a mural with an area of 18 square meters and a length of 6 meters. What is the width of her mural? Her next mural will be the same length as the first, but four times as wide. What is the perimeter of her next mural? So we have got a lot of questions going on here. So what is the width of her mural? That's for the first question. All right, you see we have two questions here. So that's for question number one. Question number two is talking about a whole different project, right? And it's saying, what is the perimeter of the next mural? So let's work on the first question. And whenever I'm doing geometry, it always helps me to draw. So I'm going to start with my mural. It has 18 square meters as the area. And I know the length is six meters. All right, area is equal to length times width. I know the area, the area is 18. I know the length, that's six times W. I don't know the width. It's actually asking me what is the width of her mural. All right, so six times W is equal to 18. What times six is equal to 18? Three. 18 is equal to six times three. So the width is three meters. So that's the answer to question number one. My next mural will be the same length but four times as wide. So I'm going to keep the length which is six meters, but it's going to be four times as wide. Four times as wide as the first, okay? So I know that my first mural was three meters. I need four times that to make four times as wide. So here's one set of three meters. Here's another set of three meters. Another set of three meters. And a final set of three meters. So if I did that all together, three, 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 and three, or three times four, it would be 12 meters, right? So if I made this entire shape, okay, I would have six by 12, right? And the question was, what's the perimeter? So the perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W, okay? So perimeter is equal to two times six plus my width, which is four times my original one is two times 12. 2 times 6 is equal to 12 plus 2 times 12 is equal to 24. 12 plus 24, that is equal to 36. So my perimeter is 36 meters and that answers that second question. Here's another try. A rectangular porch is 4 feet wide. It is 3 times as long as it is wide. Label the diagram with the dimensions of the porch. So I know that it is four feet wide, okay? It is three times as long. So if it's three times as long, you have four feet plus four feet plus four feet, or three times four. Now let's find the perimeter. Well, my total length here is four times three, which is 12 feet, and my width is four feet. Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. So the perimeter is equal to 4 times 2 plus 12 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 12 times 2 is 24. 8 and 24 is equal to 32. And I'm in feet for the perimeter. A narrow rectangular banner is five inches wide. So I'll start with the five inches wide. It is six times as long as it is wide. So I'm going to do five times six here. Draw a diagram of the banner and label some mentions. So I already got started. So here's five. I gotta go over six times of five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here is my diagram. I should have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
This is five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches. Okay, there's my diagram. Now find the perimeter and area. Well, perimeter is equal to two times the length times two times the W. So the perimeter is equal to the length here is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 2 times 30 plus 2 times my width is 5. 2 times 30 is 60 because my basic fact is 2 times 3 add a 0. Plus 2 times 5 is 10. So my perimeter is equal to 70 inches. Now it told me to find the area. Area is equal to length times width. So my area is equal to, remember, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 times my width is 5. So my basic fact, 3 times 5, is 15 add a zero. So my area is equal to 150. Remember it's area, so it's square inches. Don't forget that square when you're talking about area. All right, now it is your turn. Um, the area of a rectangle is 42 square centimeters. Its length is seven centimeters. I want you to draw and label the rectangle. Tell me the width. Colin wants to draw a second rectangle with the same length but three times as wide. Draw Collins, second rectangle, and tell me the perimeter of Collins' rectangle. So go ahead and do that problem. Hit pause if you need to. A table is two feet wide. It is six times as long as it is wide. Draw and label the diagram and find the perimeter. And finally, a blanket is four feet wide. It is three times as long as it is wide. Draw a diagram of the blanket, label its dimensions, and find the perimeter and area of that blanket. All right, once you're all done with those questions, please revisit your learning goal. And I would like you to put a triangle around your learning goal for the end of the lesson. Thank you for your hard work, and I will see you later.